Hi and welcome to Vianic Studio. Today we are going to see how to create an explosion effect in Unity using the VFX graph. And we'll be also using the flip books for this. Flip books are nothing but sprite sheets. So this is the final explosion effect that we are aiming for. And for that we are using this sprite sheet. So this sprite sheet is made available by Unity for free. So you can go to the Unity blog and there are a lot of sprite sheets here that are used for VFX effects. You can just click on the flip books and download them. Uh, if you want individual images of these, then you can use the sequence. So this is available in two formats. One is the EXR format and the other is the TGA format. Both are supported by Unity. So if you download the individual images, then you will have to create a sprite sheet with that. So it's better if you directly download the flip books from here. So once you have the flip book, just import them into Unity. So I have taken the .tga version and I've imported it. So you don't have to do any texture slicing here. So now that we have a sprite sheet here, we need a VFX graph. So let's right click and go to create and then we'll go to visual effects, visual effect graph. We'll just call this explosion. In our hierarchy, we'll create a visual effect game object. So that also we'll call it as explosion. And we'll assign our explosion graph to the asset template. So that way we'll be able to preview it as we are actually editing it. Now just double click on the explosion graph to open the VFX graph editor. And I'll just talk it near the inspector. And since we have all the sprites required, all that we have to do is just cycle through the sprites one by one. To do that, we just need to spawn one object at a time. So the rate of spawn can be changed to one. And then under initialize particle, we are not going to require any of the default blocks. So we'll remove them. Uh, we need a block called text index, which will tell Unity VFX graph which image to use as the texture. So we'll say create box and we'll say text index. So we'll say set text index and we'll leave it at zero. Now you can create an external logic to cycle through text, but Unity has an inbuilt block for that. So under update particle, just say right click and search for flipbook player. We'll not adjust the settings as of now, but we'll assign the flipbook and then we'll do all the settings. So here we require the orient face camera. This will make sure that the effect is facing the camera all the time. Then we'll adjust the color and size later. So first under UV mode, make sure you select flipbook and then in the blend mode, you can leave it as alpha. Then under the main texture, just drag the image that you downloaded from Unity, the .tga file, which is a sprite sheet. And then set the size of the sprite sheet. So here we have five sprites in the horizontal and five sprites in the vertical. So it's going to be five cross five. So as you can see here, we already have a cool explosion effect here. So in my case, all the settings that were in the VFX graph were matching with the sprite sheet so that the explosion effect was directly working. But in your case, you might have to tweak the frame rate for a smaller frame rate like one. So you can see how the effect is looking right now. So if we set it to something big like 10, so this is how it looks. It looks like a slow-mo explosion. So you will have to find the optimal frame rate for this. And in my case, it was 25. So I can even set a faster explosion like this. So this is how the faster explosion looks at a frame rate of 100. Now you can play around some settings like you can inc increase the size of the explosion at the beginning and slowly reduce it. So that will give a different effect. Or you can also have a smaller explosion and a bigger smoke. So you can play around the values based on the explosion you want. And you can also play around with the color if you want. For example, you can have a bright red explosion. Now, one major thing is generally when we use the explosion effect, we use it only once. So once the explosion happens, the effect should basically not loop again. So in visual effects graph to stop the looping, you have to select the spawn module. Then you have to go to the inspector window. And here loop duration and loop count should be set to constant. So once you do that, you will have two more option here, loop duration, loop count. So we're going to set loop duration to one second, but loop count to zero. That means we don't want it to loop. So if we select the explosion and if we say play, it just plays the explosion one time and then that's it. 
So you can use any sprite sheet here and just change the size of the flipbook and you can have a different explosion effect. So this was a basic explanation on how to use a flipbook to create a VFX effect. So if you have any other questions regarding this, you can leave them in the comment box below and we'll try to address it. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.